Good day everybody. So while this isn't uh, a full-on step-by-step tutorial, there's enough information in here that you could recreate this. Um, I think this is not an exercise in, you know, do I want to make a shock absorber, but this was more of an exercise if I understood physics holes correctly would I be able to do anything I kind of wanted with physics, including making a dynamic shock absorber where all parts of the uh, action is dynamic. So this just gives you some idea of the sizing so that if you tried to recreate it, you could work from some of this information supplied here. And we're just going to take a bit of a look at the elements. Now, because there's dynamic on dynamic and dynamic objects penetrating them, we have to break everything into elements. And then we have this cutaway view where you can see the internals of the shock absorber. And the main thing you know that you need to cover is this spring creation, right? But you know, it's just a helix line that we go measurements for at the beginning and then just a couple of settings to tweak uh, that spline inside of the uh, shock absorber setup. Uh, there's a few things that could be fixed. There's some hyperactivity on the spring and some things that could be calmed down. But I really just wanted to see if I could make it and would TIEFLOW handle such a complex uh, dynamic physics animation. 